Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Jasmine Destine back with a new nail video. This video is going to be all about my birthday nails, my very on trend birthday nails. I did the coquette nail trend that I've been seeing all over Pinterest, Instagram, TikTok, you name it, it's there. I literally just love the way that these nails just gave feminine girly vibes and I feel like that's all that I wanted to experience and feel for my birthday this year during aqua season so first we're starting off with buffing off our gel my old gel sets this was a gel overlay on my natural nails so there's no fake nail or like nail tip on these these are all my nails i actually broke two of them i was very sad about that but it's okay because we're gonna go in with some new nail tips today um so yeah i'm making sure to buff off all of the gel and buff it down pretty thin on all of my fingers and that's what that looks like and then listen disclaimer i am not a nail tech i do not i did not go to school i don't have a license i am a diy queen okay so don't take everything that i do as bible because it's not because what am i doing why am i doing this it's because i'm so impatient i literally cannot sit and wait for my nails to soak off so i cut them off i cut them off and i cut them down i buffed them down um which is what i'm doing here literally like some of them started to lift already so it's kind of like really easy actually and it doesn't hurt i will say that it does not hurt but is it healthy and safe for my nail no it's definitely not which is why you shouldn't do it you should do everything else that i do in this video but just don't do that so i did that um on the fingers that were lifted some of it came off really easily and then i go in with the teardrop for my e-drill and on the lowest setting and i buff my cuticle area and this is a must for me like an absolute must i don't know why people skip this step people skip this step when they're doing their own nails people skip this step in the nail salon i'm like i literally need to have my cuticles cleaned up and buffed down because it just gives it such a clean crisp look this is so important if you want your nails to look salon done even though they don't be doing it in the salon sometimes but if you want them to do to look salon done you have to do this step um literally i I love it and it makes my nails look super clean and super neat so I'm making sure to repeat that on all fingers and that's what my nails look like now that my cuticles are cleaned um, and my nails got so long oh my god literally like gat but um yeah now we're gonna go in with our nail prep so we do dehydrator first a single layer of this is okay and then we're going in with our nail primer I really like this one from a prey both of these things are so important for your nails to last two to three weeks. My sets do not last anything less than like two and a half weeks. I don't, unless I break a nail because I'm like being super rough or I'm like at the gym or something, my nails don't lift anymore. Like they literally, that's not an issue. And it's because of these two steps. So make sure you're doing that and then go in with your foundation. This is your base coat, okay? You're gonna apply a single layer of this to all of your nails um don't want to make it too thick if your nails are on the thinner side when you stick it under the uv lamp it might tinkle a little that's because your nail is thin and it's okay but like we're trying to practice healthy nail habits so try not to buff your nails down too much you just want to buff off the top layer just so that it's like a little rough so that the gel can stick and then you know you go on with your base coat so that's what i'm doing here and I'm just repeating on all of my fingers. And that's what my nails look like. And then I stick them under my UV lamp for 60 seconds to cure just to make sure that we're all good to go for the next part i'm going to be using these soft gel tips they're full cover nails from cuticle to tip and they're pre-buffed on the inside that i found on amazon for less than ten dollars for the for the whole little case and i found this builder gel from amazon as well that's also i think it was like 6.99 or seven dollars or something like that 
so affordable literally replaced my whole appraise system because i i you can't beat that price and they're pre-buffed so i don't even have to worry about buffing the inside of the nail you know how tedious and annoying that was i'm actually so happy that i found these i ended up doing on my pinky first i was like let me do a, a thin layer of the builder gel on my nail and then a little bead on the inside of the nail but then i had some spillage on my cuticle because it was too much gel product so I actually decided going forward I was like you know what I'm just gonna do the bead on the inside of the nail I don't need to do the layer on my nail because I already have base coat down so that's what I'm repeating for all of my other nails I do my bead I apply it to the cuticle with pressure and then I press down going forward to the tip of my nail and stick it right under my little mushroom lamp that I also got from Amazon. Literally everything that I'm using is from Amazon and it'll all be on my Amazon storefront. I have curated lists on there, but then I'll also just link it for you guys in the description box. But literally, it's, everything is from Amazon. It's so affordable. I, I don't understand why more people aren't doing their nails, honestly. And if you've got a friend or a family member that you want to do this with, send them this video. Like, show them how easy it is. It's honestly so easy. I've been doing this for the last three to four years. Honestly, longer. But I've been making these videos for the last three to four years. And I genuinely feel like I can never go back to paying someone else to do my nails when I could just do them so well like they just come out so bomb um yeah so <laughs> then I'm gonna stick my hand under my UV lamp again but just for 30 seconds just to make sure you know because the flash cure with the little mushroom lamp is just a couple of seconds just to make sure that it's there you know and now we get to go in with our nail file and shape our nails you can skip this step if you like the way the nails look on their own I personally love a more narrow and kind of pointier stiletto nail this is a stiletto shape but I just like them a little bit more sharp and a little bit more narrow so I didn't do much filing but I definitely made sure to just hit up the sides of the nails just a little bit um, which you guys see me doing right here and I'm like oh these is looking so good and it was so easy this took like no time at all I'm telling you, game changer with these nails, these soft gel nails. Um, and then I'm going with my favorite pink polish. I use this for all my French sets, all of my baby pink, but like sheer tone nail sets that I just need that perfect pink. This is also perfect on my toes too. Um, this is supposed to be a dupe for the bubble bath, bubble bath by OPI, but it's also from Amazon. <laughs> so yeah, that'll also be on the storefront, babes. Um, I'm gonna do two layers of this. This is the first layer, and I'm making sure to just, you know, do thin layers so that there's no bubbles, no streaks or anything like that. My bottle is almost done. I was literally shaking it to get the, co the color out, but I'm literally obsessed with this. Um, so I'm making sure to do that on all of my fingers, and then I'm going to cure for 60 seconds. And we're gonna repeat and do the same thing again, because I, like I said, we're doing two layers of this. I will say I'm feeling super inspired and super creative. It's my season. It's aqua season. These being my birthday nails, I feel like I came back with a bang because they just look so bomb. They look so good. But truthfully, like I was I was going through a little bit of a creative block with my nails. Like I didn't really want to do anything um, for a while. And I feel like this set kind of just... I don't know it made me feel alive again I was like these are so cute and I got so many compliments on them the entire two and a half weeks that I was wearing them I literally am obsessed look at how good they look even just the pink I was like oh they look so good um, and now I'm gonna go in with this white gel polish and I'm gonna do my French this little paintbrush that I use is literally a paintbrush from Michaels um, Find something that you like and that works for you. They sell gel polishes with the skinny brush, but, and then they obviously have like the very professional nail brushes, but I just like this little one. And I like deep smile lines. Um, and I'm gonna repeat the same thing on all my nails. And then I go in with the brush from the actual gel just to kind of make sure there are no streaks. Um, and I'm fixing up my, my French, but I wanna cure that and make sure that that's set in place. Um, before I move on to my other nails because I will mess them up if I don't cure in between doing for like my nail designs it'll definitely mess up for sure so that's what I'm doing here 
and I'm just repeating the same thing and then I realized I was doing this nail and I was like this is not deep enough I need a deeper line so before I cured it I went in with some alcohol on a q-tip and y'all know if you're if you're on my Instagram then you know this is my little nail hack I like using a q-tip with some alcohol and cleaning up my nail design before I go and I set it in place so I was making it deeper and I was like Ooh, that looks good honestly I was being very particular but I have to look at my nails like I literally have to look at my nails the most so I want to make sure I like them but yeah this is me just you know and then I was like you know what I don't even like that <laughs> I'm gonna just take it all off and do it again but that's the beauty with gel it literally it's not concrete until you cure it so I went back and I changed it I made my my smile line on my branch a bit more v-shaped which i personally like on my fingers so yeah I cured that and that's what that looked like and then we did the rest of the nails same steps you know um but i'm cutting this down for y'all because you know i don't want it to be super long but yeah we did our french on all of our fingers and that's what that looks like it looks so good i ate that I love the shape of these nails and then I got these really cute nail decals from Amazon as well came with all these cute little I opened it up upside down chill but um it came with all these cute little bows and then there were some pearls in the center so I was like you know what let's dress it up um so I'm gonna do bows on all of my fingers except for the ring finger the ring finger we're gonna go in with something a little different but I'm just taking that builder gel I did a bead of it right in the center popped a little bow on and then cured for six seconds flash cured with my little mushroom lamp and we're gonna you know cure everything all at once when I'm done placing them on but this was so simple and so easy and it just made it look so much more I don't know it just dressed it up like it gave it something it gave it a mm, and it just looked so good and now we're going in with the ring finger and I decided I want to do like um, pearls going along my French but I wanted them to you know start big and then get smaller as they go up I don't know what to call it or call that but yeah you guys see what I'm doing I was playing around with it um, I realized I had some smaller uh, little pearl beads in another set that I also ordered from Amazon so I cured those in place because I liked the way those were sitting and then I pulled out the smaller ones the even smaller ones and these were full they weren't like half pearls because you know how they sell the half ones so that they can sit flatter these were full and they still stuck really well with the builder gel that's what that looked like and then I was using my finger to just pick them up because I thought that, that was easier it was easier for me that's what that looks like ah it looks so good and then I went and I flash cured and that's what my nails look like before top coat I realized I was like maybe I could have did my top coat before I did the bows and the the little um pearls because it was a little bit more difficult but also I wanted to fully encapsulate all of my decals so make sure you do two really full layers like the first layer can be kind of thin but then go in with a second layer and fully encapsulate your nail because I lost a bow like day two on one of my fingers and I realized it's because I didn't put enough gel on then we're going in with cuticle oil and we're going to put that all over our cuticles you guys know I love this step and these are the completed coquette aqua season birthday nails these are my 27 birthday nails and i just i love them they're so girly i'm just a girl at the end of the day i really am i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and subscribe i love you guys and i'll see you in my next one bye